It's unmistakable. It resonates. And if you don't know it yet, you will. In the 1880s, KU looked a little different. It also sounded a little different. Back then, there was no rock chalk chant. That is, until the spring of 1886. Enter Professor Edgar H.S. Bailey. Yeah, Bailey, as in Bailey Hall. Erected in 1900, still on campus, named after this guy. Professor Bailey headed the KU Science Club. The club was more social than science, and as such, they decided they needed to adopt a yell. Bailey submitted one, and his yell was direct, simple, and catchy. Ra Ra Jayhawk KU, three times repeated with staccato emphasis. Not long after, Ra Ra became Rock Chalk, a reference to the chalk rock limestone found in Kansas. Bailey himself couldn't remember the specifics of how that change happened, but cited professors in the geology department as the likely culprits. And the rest is history. The chant became synonymous with KU and pride for the university. And its reputation outside of KU grew. A Harvard newspaper once reportedly ranked the chant as the best college cheer in the country. Theodore Roosevelt took that claim one step further and declared it the greatest college cheer ever devised. It was even used in the 1920 Antwerp Olympics, where US athletes performed it to demonstrate a typical American college yell. The rock chalk chant remains as iconic as ever. It's on bumper stickers and billboards. It's heard in airports across the globe. It might even be on your t-shirt right now. And it will continue to endure. A rousing cheer, a secret handshake, a calling card for greatness and Jayhawks everywhere. <laughs> <laughs>